Hi, my name is Brian Matsumoto. I live right here in Temple City, California in Los Angeles County. And we're here at the San Gabriel Nursery. I am part of the San Gabriel Nursery and Florist family. Uh, we just celebrated our 100th anniversary last year. So we're very proud to be one of the remaining Japanese American small family nurseries left in Southern California. Um, I just want to encourage everyone out there to, you know, really consider our water situation in California and be smart as you're planning your gardens going forward to think water wise. You know, we live in a constant drought situation in California and we want to be smart, right? Growing up, just like most people, I was used to seeing lawns everywhere, but working here at the nursery, I discovered a huge love of plants that are so incredible. And there's a whole world of life out there that you could be bringing into your home. So if you're really being smart and planting plants that are used to a low amount of water, then you're gonna have a garden that's really happy. I really wanted to talk to you today about California native plants, water-wise, California friendly plants. That'll be smart choices for your home landscape and a great way to reduce water for those of you that might be considering how to switch out those thirsty lawns and really be water wise. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite native plants. This is a type of Ceanothus or we call it California lilac. This is Concha, the variety. It just puts out these awesome blue blooms, really great spring color. So we have a whole bunch of sages. This is one it's called Allen Chickering Sage. It has that really awesome mountain fragrance. You can tell it's about to go into bloom, kind of a light lavender color. A related one is our classic black sage. You'll see this when you're out hiking. You can smell that fragrant oil off of the leaves that just smells like the mountains. And this also puts out a nice dark colored bloom. So. Even in, say, an apartment where maybe you only have a very small balcony, of course you can still plant a couple things in pots and, you know, why not have a little kitchen garden? So you could have rosemary. This is a nice little one that'll trail off the pot. Lavender to give you that really nice fragrance. Some oregano. These are plants that, you know, they'll take a little water, but not a whole lot. So these are smart ways to kind of green up your apartment. This plant is Gallardia, the blanket flower. So this is like such an easy one, great color for your garden. It's heat tolerant and drought tolerant. So, you know, a great way to get that pop of color in your yard. To find more information about yard transformation rebates in your area, we really encourage you to go to the state's website, saveourwater.com slash yard rebates.